Hi guys, uh, it's Erin from Ginger Swirls. I'm going to start some seeds today. I know, it's uh, early, well, mid-November, it's before Thanksgiving, uh, but I plan to sell uh, some cut flower and some other flower starts at the farmer's market in April, uh, in which case I need to start some of these super early so that they're a good size plant uh, by the time that comes around. So today I plan on starting some geraniums and some coleus. Uh, the geraniums I've got, they're all, they're all from Swallowtail Gardens. I've got several different varieties, different colors. Uh, there's about 10, 10 seeds per packet. So I will, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have about 60 plants. I intend to plant them into two inch pots for now and maybe uh, increase that size in a month or two, hopefully, if they grow properly. Uh, but I wanted to go over the varieties that I, the colors that I got. I got one that's called Bullseye Light Pink, so this should be really pretty. Uh, Maverick Coral Geranium, I love anything coral, so we're going to give this one a go. There's one called Quicksilver that I believe is a white. Uh, it was really pretty on the website. Uh, Bullseye Salmon Geranium. I like anything that's kind of orange, orange and pink in the spring, so this should be a good one. Uh, Maverick Violet, and then a Maverick Apple Blossom. Apple Blossom usually is a pink and white, a light pink and a white. Uh, color color just like an apple blossom um, so we'll get those started today and then I bought some coleus last year from this is from uh, Baker Creek they these are just the most beautiful fun plants to grow they they grow relatively easily but you never this particular one it's the pinto mix it's a wide variety of colors you can get everything from a deep dark purple, to a lime green, to uh, spotted, to splotch, to, to ones with like a dark margin or a bright pink, bright pink. Um, any color combination. And these are super fun to grow and they're super fun to watch grow under lights, especially in the winter when everything's dark and gray and kind of icky. Um, this will give something fun to take care of and to look at all winter long. So let's get started. I'm just using a, a regular organic uh, potting mix because most of these, especially the two inch pots, they're likely to stay in that pot all the way up until they go to market. Let's see, I need some water. I just want it to be damp. Not dripping. This is a 72 plug trick. This is what I'll use for the coldest. I'm 
pick out the big, big chunks. They can cause uh, air pockets. Drop it like that gently to kind of tamp it down. That way, again, no air pockets. So, this seems to have a good chance. Got all my pots ready, the two inch pots for the geraniums and the flat for the coleus. Just need to make some labels and start uh, planting. light pink geranium. These seeds are pretty small. There's an envelope with another plastic bag and then another envelope. Can you see those tiny things in there? There's probably 10 of them. Geraniums like, I believe they need light to germinate, so I'm going to just top them lightly with some vermiculite. I'm not going to bury them in to the soil.
Now we're going to plant the coleus. You see all those colors? It's going to be just so much fun to grow. These seeds are so tiny. Can you see those? They're like little, shoots, they're just itty bitty. So there's a good chance I'm gonna get more than one in every cell, which is okay. And I didn't get to the end. That's okay. There'll be lots of these. I'll be able to transplant them. Okay. I cover the seeds with vermiculite. If you haven't heard of it, um, it's just a it's a mineral that grows naturally and it's very very lightweight and it helps with moisture retention but it still allows the little baby plants to emerge and you can use it on top of seeds like this that just barely want to be covered but need light in order to get Like I said, this, this just helps to maintain the moisture in there. As soon as they all start sprouting though, you want to pull it off, otherwise you can get mold growing. They're not really built for these kind of pots, but we can make it work. Not a fancy setup, but it works for me. Now we just have to wait and be patient and hope for some germination in two to three weeks. Uh, so we'll be out here checking it probably every day just to make sure uh, nothing's going haywire. The lights will be on for, I think, 14 hours and we'll keep them on the heat mats. There, it, it'll be around 70, 75 underneath of them. So that'll keep them nice and toasty. Um, but yeah. It's fun. We're starting the 2024 season already. Uh, thanks for coming along.